What's going on everybody, it's Conti here. Before watching this video, it is assumed that you would already have incorporated records from a source file into your mail merge master document. In this example here, I've completed the mail merge wizard using this Excel spreadsheet with a small table with three fields and two records. This is Office 2013 and the forename from that table is up here. I completed my mail merge using the step-by-step -step mail merge wizard. Now what I would like to do is to incorporate an ask rule so that I can input a job that an applicant has applied for in this part of the sentence between hour and post. First of all, left click where you want this new bit of data to go. I want my job, which the end user will be asked for eventually, to appear here. Press Ctrl and F9 on your keyboard. Some keyboards may also require you to press Fn function as well as Ctrl before F9. Make sure that you press Command instead of Ctrl if you're a Mac user. What I'm going to do is type in the word job and this is where my position will eventually appear. Left click to the left of the container. Make sure you're out of the grey spot there. You can go to the left on the same line or on a line above so that your rule applies to this particular section here. If I now go to rules and then ask. In the prompt window you want to type the instruction that you are going to be presenting to the end user. So for example in this case I'm going to say type in the job. It doesn't have to be a question, it's up to you. You can also choose to have a default value there as well. So what I'm going to use in this case here as an example is administrator. And obviously you want this text, if it was an administrator job that these people were applying for, you want it to appear in the same section where your bookmark is. So ensure that you refer to the same bookmark. I'm going to type in job as it's the same text as I've got here. To prevent repetition of this prompt, I'm going to tick on ask once. Click OK. Click OK. And when I preview my results, you can see that the document has been created with the job position there and this has been applied to both applicants. Just to test this now as well in a separate document as well where I can see individual letters for each person appearing on different pages I'm going to go to finish and merge edit individual documents I want all records from my spreadsheet table to be referred to, so I'm going to leave that selected and click OK. Imagine if one time that it was an administrator job that they were applying for. If you want to change it, I'm going to put in here cleaner, for example. If I click on OK, you can now see that documents have been created for both John and Dean with the cleaner job referred to as well between hour and post. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that it was useful to you. To support this channel, please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.